Hey guys, it's Frank from PBH, and in this video, I'm going to show you how much power a Coyote Swapped F100 makes on the dyno. Now behind me is Gary Klug's Coyote Swap 55 F100. Gary went ahead and put in a Generation 1 F150 Coyote engine with the stock 6R80 transmission. Behind that is a 9 inch rear end with 331 gears. Now this engine from the factory claims to make 360 horsepower and 380 foot pounds of torque. Well we're going to find out today what the baseline number is with a Lund Racing tune. We're going to give them a chance to take a look at the data log and make a revision and see what power we make out of it to the wheels. Should be fun. So after the first run, we have 335 horsepower, 349 foot-pounds of torque to the wheels. That's not a bad setup because, again, from the factory, we only made 360, 380 at the flywheel. Now, this is the base file from Lund Racing. They're going to take a look at the data log and go ahead and make any revisions where they can to see if they can add some power to the combination. So on this next pass, we're going to go ahead and load the updated tune from Lund Racing. They did find some areas where they can add some timing, maybe make some power. We're going to load that tune in there, make a pass, log it, and send it back to them for some revision and see how much power we pick up. That's not bad, so after that revision, we were able to pick up the performance. We're up to 341 rear wheel horsepower and 358 foot-pounds of torque. So that revision from Lund Racing added power and torque to the original tune. The only thing left we have to do is to open the exhaust cutouts that Gary has had installed and see if that picks up any power. We don't expect to, but we'll see exactly what it does for us. After that, we'll overlay the dynographs and show you exactly where peak power and peak torque are coming in at. This truck here is a great example of what a budget Coyote swap can really give you performance-wise. All right, so what you see on your screen right now is going to be the overlay of the first two pulls of the dyno session. Now, we didn't include the third with the exhaust cutouts open because we didn't have any gains or losses with that pull. So exhaust cutouts didn't net us any power whatsoever. But what we do see here is the difference between the first two pulls. Now, what was different between the two pulls was the tuning. We had a baseline tune from Lund Racing, and then we had a revision after data logging. In that revision, we were able to pick up six rear wheel horsepower and nine foot pounds of torque. And you can see the power gains are significant through the entire band of the power. So you got torque coming in peak right around 4,500 RPM. That's to be expected. And horsepower peaking out right before 5,500 RPM and then tailing off and plateauing a little bit. Now this is to be expected, like I mentioned, because this is an F-150 engine, F-150 intake manifold, F-150 cams. It's got stock shorty or mid-length headers from the factory Gen 1 Mustang. It's all being controlled by a Generation 1 computer in our 6R80 control pack. So this vehicle in particular has our body harness on it, has our transmission harness in it. It's got a stock PCM. It's got a stock F-150 engine harness as well. So this is a really good example for those budget beater Gen 1 truck powertrains that you see out there listed to what kind of power you're really going to get out of it without making any major changes. Gary does have the option now to update the intake manifold, maybe put a Gen 3 Mustang intake manifold on there. That might net him another 15, 20 horsepower. Long tube headers could net him another 10 to 15 horsepower. Even changing the camshafts out can net him a good boost in power and get it closer to or over 400 rear wheel horsepower once everything's done. 
But for the most part, this truck runs and drives great. It doesn't stall, doesn't have any issues with AC on, AC off, turning the wheel. It runs smooth, cool, no issues to report whatsoever. So unless he really gets power hungry, he doesn't have to do any of that stuff whatsoever. I want to thank Gary for giving us the opportunity to work on the truck and get things sorted out for him. We also wanted to thank the guys at Lund Racing for knocking the tuning right out of the park. The truck drives great like we mentioned earlier and made really really good power for what the combination is. If you have any questions about what you see in this video make sure you post up a comment down below. You can also email us info at pbhperformance.com and we can get you more technical information there as well. Our website is pbhperformance.com where you can see all the products that we use and even purchase the tuning that you see here in this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell as well, and let us know if we can help you out with anything Coyote Swap related in the future.